What's going on you guys? Hiram here. Today is election day and I think within a few hours we'll be able to find out who wins, whether it's Trump or Biden. And this is the first time that I have voted. And I think that there's a lot of uh, emotion attached to the candidate that you voted for. And I think that brings on a lot of anxiety throughout this time. But at the end of the day, I think it's very important not to focus so much on the politics, whether Trump wins or whether Biden wins. I live out here in West Texas and we are all about the oil industry. And so a lot of people around me are saying, well, if Biden wants to end fracking and he wants to end the oil industry, why are we going to vote for him? Let's vote Trump. And then today I actually heard that the tech industry leans a lot more towards Biden because the Democrats are into more of the renewable energy and the technology sector. And so I'm not too certain about all of that. But I do know that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're in the tech industry or the oil industry, who wins the election after we vote, it's, it's kind of out of our control, guys. And to be super nervous and anxious about what's going to happen and allow that to act on us um, is, is a little too much. I think that at the end of the day, we are the ones that control our destiny, right? It sounds a little corny, but at, we are the ones who control what we can do. Anything else outside that's just out of our control, we shouldn't worry about it too much. Um, I think that that's very important to think about, especially right now. If Biden wins, big deal. Take care of your own stuff in your own local communities and in your home. If Trump wins, big deal. Again, take care of what's going on in your local communities and what's going on in your own home. All right, Th this time is not the time to sit here and depend on the government for any financial, um, for any financial relief or any uh, security matters. Okay, all of that kind of has to be taken upon ourselves. Uh, that's something that I think I've learned throughout the years and that's something that I will continue to practice because we cannot completely depend on the government. I mean, this is crazy stuff that we're living through right now and for us to really just depend our whole lives on the outcome of an election is just super risky. You know, we talk a lot about the domestic policies that Trump has put in place or that Biden is going to put in place if he gets elected. We talk about the foreign policies that Trump has done or that Biden will plan to do if he gets elected. But what about the domestic policies that you have in your own home? Your own home rules. What are the foreign policies? How are you interacting with the people around you? I think those are the policies that matter more, are the ones that are central to us rather than a big government. Uh, so make sure you're taking care of that. Your financial matters, your security matters, the way you interact with others around you, uh, how you treat your relationships, be that with your husband, your wife, siblings, or parents. Make sure that all that is in order, guys. I feel like if we get a lot of that stuff in order, our lives will be a lot better and we won't really focus that much on a government. Sure, I think it's good that we focus on the politics and that we figure out what's going on in the branches of government and up there in that hierarchy, but it's really important that we focus down on our own personal lives and not blame anybody else for the outcomes that happen in our lives. Anyway, those are just some thoughts that have really been running through my mind uh, throughout the week and especially now during election day because I think this is just so important and that's why I wanted to make a quick video about it. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.